Corey, we, talk, we talked about migration last night and these huge numbers uh, that the government's using to prop up the budget. I mean, both sides do it. I'm not just critical of, of Labor. A lot of them, though, are low-skilled migrants. That's been borne out. We saw that in, in COVID. They were the jobs, of course, that Australians don't do. So why are we paying a million people, millions of Australians now, out of tax revenue? Why are we paying them to, to sit at home and do nothing if we have jobs going begging? And why don't we have a national population plan? Well, the national population plan, of course, is uh, too divisive because... Uh, the governments want a big population in order to prop up the economy, as you talked about. More people buying widgets makes us look like we're going forward, even though the quality of life for a lot of Australians is actually going backwards per capita. When it comes to jobs, I can't believe that there's a million Australians unemployed. There's more than that on disability support pensions. There's jobs going begging. I can tell you, I've spent a lot of time in regional South Australia recently. You cannot find an Australian to fill the job. So they're using backpackers. And I don't have a problem with people who are here on temporary uh, tourist visas or something filling these jobs. What gets my goats is the people who come out here as students. The student whole process is designed to rot the system, to get backdoor residency, to get work, um, from because you're going to get paid more here working in a service station the oil in uh, some third world country. This is the problem. It is a mm. giant scam and we've got to put an end to it.